This video is going to be a warning not to use cheap axles. I installed two cheap, uh, you know, advanced auto axles in the front of my pilot. And after driving um, to Florida and back, we actually had one break, a CV joint break yesterday on the road. Luckily, we were close to home and I was uh, able to get home by towing the pilot with our CRV. But uh, this is just a warning. If you lift your pilot, don't use the cheap axles. Um, from what I've seen, now that I've seen the cheaper axles apart, the Honda product is superior. Unfortunately, the Honda axles cost $300 a piece versus cheap axles coming in, you know, under 60. Um, today I went to the junkyard and was able to salvage two genuine Honda axles um, off a pilot that was in the salvage yard. And today I just installed them. So kind of just give you a quick peek under there um, just in case you guys are interested I'll show you some of the broken CV joints I'm not sure how it's separated I don't see any metal that broke per se but um, definitely when I got to um, the car my wife was driving it when I got to the car the axle had separated so yep just a warning for pulling the broken axle and just any axle in general out of these pilots, I've had really good luck just uh, separating the axle where it attaches to the transmission and then just using this vice grip attachment on this puller. So just a note, if you don't care about the axle keeping it intact, um, you know, this method works pretty well. When I was at the salvage yard, I actually used this method carefully and, uh, you know, just removed the, scooted the, uh, the boot back down here I just scooted the boot back and was able to get the vice grips on there just enough just to give it a pull so I didn't have to get under the car and try to use um, a pry bar or a hammer on the other side on the passenger side it's nearly impossible to do that there's too much stuff around where the axle goes into the transmission um, but the axles I got I'm pretty pretty happy um, they look like they're in really good shape we will see how long these ones last um, after installing my lift, I, had, I got tons of miles on my original axles before the front driver's side one started clicking. Um, and then shortly after the boot tore on the passenger side, um, instead of replacing the boot on the OEM axle, um, I decided to just, you know, install a brand new cheap axle, not realizing that the cheap ones just are not up to the task. All right, I'm going to do my best to show you some of the differences between an OEM axle and um, just a cheap knockoff. Um, so first of all, the uh, bearings right here are smaller on the knockoff. The actual genuine um, Honda axle has much bigger bearings. If we look inside this housing, uh, it's just smaller in there. Um, it's got... Uh, smaller channels and the uh, genuine Honda axle is very large in there I'm not sure if that improves you know articulation or how far it can flex uh, but from my experience so far the third-party axles are not up to the task on a lifted pilot all right so I just got done with the test drive everything feels like it's operating as it should be so I'm pretty stoked about that while I was at the salvage yard, the pilot I was working on was a nicer model than mine. And uh, anyways, it had this mirror, which is significantly larger than our old mirror. Our old mirror had some of the inside was peeling off and it didn't really look right. So went ahead and upgraded. The uh, compass isn't functional, but oh well, I like it. For three bucks, can't pass on that. So after a day of repairs, the pilot lives to fight another day. Hopefully this, these axles last a little longer. The uh, salvaging them from the junkyard wasn't too bad. I was in and out of there probably within, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes. So I think in the future, if I need axles, I'll probably keep doing the same thing, trying to get um, used genuine axles from the salvage yard. 